This Monday night, ladies and gentlemen, championship wrestling returns to Madison Square Garden. And it will be this Monday night when we see, among the many other great matches, the three title matches. One will be for a tag team championship employing the services of the champions, Mr. Fuji and Mr. Saido. Their opponents, the brothers Strongbow, Jules and Jay. With, however, a guest referee in this tag team title matchup, guest referee Ivan Putsky. From there, challenging Pedro Morales, and thus for the Intercontinental title, the champion Morales against the challenger, number one contender, Cowboy Bob Orton. And of course, speaking of championships, everyone, the eyes of the pro wrestling world will focus this Monday night. In the steel cage main event, the most grueling professional wrestling match known to man. What with the title holder, Bob Backlund, defending the World Wrestling Federation Championship against the Superfly, the Phenom, Superfly Snooker. A special stipulation in this steel cage is that the only escape, the only way you win the steel cage is by going back through the door from which you entered, not over the top as is customary, therefore ensuring that we're going to have a match that will determine once and for all who is the better of these two extraordinarily gifted athletes. With that in mind, our guest now, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, the superfly, Mr. Snooker, here with his manager, Louis Albano. All right, let's have a recall. We all know what happened. The first encounter, Jimmy Snooker, off the top rope, up into the air, boom! Had Bob back, were you there? Had Bob Backlund carried out for the first time, carried out to the streets of New York, out of Madison Square Garden. On a stretcher. Okay, on a stretcher. Second encounter, once again, humiliating, maiming, hurting the ribs, again, hurting and crippling Bob Backlund. Were you there? Once again. You're right. Now, a steel cage match. For the first time, the rules have been stipulated. The man must go through the door, not over the... Okay, fine. Through the steel cage match. Do you know the danger of a steel cage match? What can happen to the body of a man as he's run up against the wire mesh? How it can cut into the human flesh? How you can actually taste it and smell the flesh of a man running against it? You know what can happen? And do you realize what can happen to Bob Backlund as Jimmy Snooker Superfly climbs up some 15 feet to the top of the steel cage and it flies up into the air and pounces upon Bob Backlund? Do you realize what could happen to the mutilated body of Bob Backlund in the Big Apple Madison Square Garden? Do you know what could happen? Do you, dummy? Do you know what could happen, Bob Backlund? Do you realize the severity of this contest?